Tired of doing your own work? Well, now you don't have to. We have slaves. Recently legalized in 751 due to George Whitefield's support for the institution of slavery. We're free to any religion, except Roman Catholic. <laughs> Come on down and visit our natural resources like timber, land, and fish. It's going down. I'm yelling tomorrow. You better move. You better dance. Visit our residents of the Georgia colony who grow a variety of crops, including vegetables, grain, fruit, corn, cotton, tobacco, and livestock. If you want to have a good relationship with the natives and not die, come to Georgia. Our relationship with the natives started when James Oglethorpe, founder of the Georgia colony, negotiated with the Yamaka tribe for land so he could establish a series of defensive forts. We have warm climate here, so it makes it easier to grow your crops. Ideal plantations. Growing rice, sugar, and indigo will make you money real quick. Money, money, money. Life in early Georgia, however, was harsh and difficult. Fresh water was hard to find, swampy land, bread, disease, bearing insects, attacks by Indians and Spaniards, killed lots of settlers, and Georgia's trusty rule allowed no political freedom for colonial laborers. The colony nearly failed within its first year, but we powered through it. You'll trust our government with a board of trustees that govern the colony, only available if you come in the first 20 years. Are you worried about getting attacked by the French or the Spanish? No problem! The Georgia colony is guaranteed to provide full protection from both parties. We have a reliable fort to ensure your safety and to defend. Come on down to the great colony of Georgia today. The colony of Georgia is not responsible for any death, shortage of crops, or destruction of property.